temporary and targeted. Everybody who benefits from the reduction in bus fare deserves it. Everybody who benefits from the reduction in bus fare is somebody who needs it. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's a girl, Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there, my people. So in this one, my people, we're moving a little bit away in this first segment from the whole politics. And we are jump right now, my people, into the Privy Council defending its role as Jamaica's final appellate court. And we know, say, um, since over the course of a couple months ago, we know that um, Jamaica is gearing away from the whole monarch to republic. So there is a constitutional reform committee spearheaded by the Minister of Legal Affairs, who is Malahu Fort. And my people, they have had a serious amount of um, meetings and of late they had involved the public and been having some town hall meetings and we heard that the whole reform is gonna take almost 10 million for the first year and so right now we have an article that was posted thursday in the jamaica gleaner where the president of the Jud Judicial Committee of the Privy Council, Mr. Reed has moved to debunk the key arguments being made in support of calls for Jamaica to ditch the tribunal as its final court of appeal. And we know with this whole constitutional reform, it's gonna move the monarch as the head of state for Jamaica, and Jamaica is gonna become a republic, whereas in Many persons were saying that they should have let the Caribbean Council be their final, you know, court because it's a whole hustle and tussle to get to England when somebody wants to appeal and have their say through this final Privy Council. And this president here is saying that the Privy Council is here to serve Jamaicans and I consider it a privilege to do so. That's the declaration of Robert John Reed or Mr. Reed of Alamere, President of the UK Supreme Court and President of the Judicial Committee of the UK based Privy Council. And he says that his letter is a response to a Gleaner editorial published on October 23rd this year titled Loitering at the Privy Council. Mr. Reed, a Scotsman, says he and his colleagues at the Privy Council see it as an honor and privilege to serve as Jamaica's highest court. He says this kind of service is a major responsibility one he and his colleagues take very seriously. Mr. Reed then moves on to address some of the fundamental reasons often given by those who say Jamaica should bid farewell to the Privy Council as its final court of appeal. He first tackles the issue of accessibility, noting the Gleaner editorial's mention of a difficulty and expense of having to travel to London for a hearing. And Moafe intervene right now and ask a question. Isn't this the truth, my people? It's a whole lot to get a, a, a England or a UK visa. It costs a whole lot. And sometimes you might apply for it and still get denied. He says the court is nowhere as remote or inaccessible as people may imagine. Hearings are held online so that lawyers in Jamaica can attend court from the comfort of their offices. Reed says the cost of traveling to London cannot be a barrier to justice when all hearings that are held in London are streamed live on the internet. 
He says the UK-based Privy Council is perhaps the easiest court in the world to watch in action given that access to the proceedings are only a click away on a computer or mobile phone. He made mention of 62 cases that were heard by the Privy Council over the 2022 to 2023 court year, eight of which came from Jamaica. The UK Supreme Court heard 50 cases over the referenced period. Mr. Reid makes the point that some of the most important cases for the development of the common law around the world are decided by the Privy Council on appeal. He says these cases reflect the excellent work done by the judiciary in the countries themselves. He says the Privy Council is here to serve Jamaicans. After hearing that, Constitutional lawyer Michael Hilton, King's Counsel, is disputing several claims made by the Privy Council's Robert Reed on keeping Jamaica's appellate court within its purview, arguing that cost to access remains a single major barrier, describing Reed's comment on the matter as unusual. Hilton said that the President of the United Kingdom's highest court failed to address several prohibitive factors to accessibility for Jamaicans. And I also seen where the former Prime Minister P.J. Patterson run out upon it just to see him and he described Reed's response as insufficient and says that Jamaica must replace the London-based tribunal as its final court of appeal. Meanwhile, in this segment, Nigel Clark run out defending the whole JUTC fair cut. And remember, my people, at them same one come out, come say, JUTC basically failing because they are in debt of $11.4 billion. So what we want to find now if we come and do a fair cut right now and making it seem as if we only care about the people when it's just a minority I go benefit from this and not the majority. But take a listen to what I say my people. Temporary and targeted. Everybody who benefits from the reduction in bus fare deserves it. Everybody who benefit from the reduction in bus fare is somebody who needs it. That is what we mean by a targeted reduction. Not the kind of reduction where most of it goes to people who are much better off. So we are proud to be the kind of government that is attuned to inflationary pressures and that responds as necessary. For 25 years in Jamaica, unemployment was at 14%. We measure unemployment the same way today as we measured it 10 years ago, as we measured it 20 years ago. We have more people employed than ever before. And when a man and a, or a woman has a job, it means they have a start in life. It means they can send their children to school. When more people have jobs, it means more taxi can run. The more people who have jobs, the more peanut that sell. The more people who have jobs, the more things that sell at the market. Because the more people who have jobs, it means there's more economic activity. And it's so ironic, my people. They never understand the pressures that the people them are face when they take the 200% for all politicians. They never understand the pressure where the people them are face when they give them $13,000 per week for minimum wage. So how all of a sudden now they come so they understand the pressures where the people them are feel. Also, my people, they remember the whole $222 million fraud that happened at the InSports company where allegedly they had five persons you know charged for the whole mastermind behind that namely Andrew Wright and four other employees were implicated they were locked up and all of that my people but out now and bail and they recently went back to court my people and the judge is basically saying that they're gonna summons 50 witnesses to be a part of the trial that will be set for the next court hearing my people 
So this definitely don't look good at all upon all of these five persons who are implicated in this big multi-million dollar fraud. 50 witnesses in our people and the trial will run over the course of a three months. So it begs to question, how is it that a one person the whole lamp and in the SSL fraud will have over billions and billions of dollars right and this in sports fraud is just 222 million and five person implicated could be more and they have 50 witnesses to call and a pantan alone allegedly charged in the whole ssl and there is no witness we can't get any more update from any of the investigative bodies to say if them have no more persons to lock up or the witnesses but you know we in my people and tell me what to think about all of this that has been said in this video from the whole constitutional reform to the president of the privy council in england defending why the Privy Council is needed for Jamaica's final court, as well as Nigel Clark running out and talking about the people's needs and taking burden off the people as it pertains to this JUTC fear court. Chat up my people and tell me what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run, go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase, it goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership, you get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notification shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment, like and subscribe and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Albert Ramey. Big up yourself Albert, thanks for the continued support from each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board, join the ABR family on the road to 20k like share and subscribe to the channel share out the videos thanks for the support big up on yourself stay tuned for more videos